What's going on, baby? We're back at it again. Dram's on deck. Today, we're going to do a scotch. You know, it's about time for me to pop you. But you know what? Not just yet. Not today. Not you. I'm going to bring it around. We got the Octomores, Brutalitis. What we got? Madronix. Oh, let's do this. It's Ben React. Oh, let's see what we're talking about right here on this Ben React tenure. Oh, we got right here. It's a tenure, three cast maturation, sherry, bourbon, virgin oak. Yes, yes. And the back of it here, you get all the notes, the character, all that good stuff. Has the uh, color nose and palette. Let's take a look at the bottle real quick and let's see what the bottle has to offer. So this bottle here, this is it. This is a very light color. As you can see a very light, very light color here. It's 10 years, uh, probably from the bourbon and uh, virgin American oak on it. Here's the back of it right here, three casts. And we're gonna dive all into it right here. So you see it right here, Ben React. About that 46, no, 43 percent here. We're gonna dive all into it. Ben React, original 10 for review. Let's go. Yes, sir. We back at it. Drams on deck. And as promised, today we got the Scotch Ben React 10 year on deck for review. Yes, sir. This bottle I've had for some while. Um, usually, but not always, like to give my bottles a couple months to kind of once I open it to let it air out, oxidize so I get the best flavor profile that I can from it. This bottle I've had four years, so I've had some time to get it. Uh, I've got that. I think I purchased this for about, I want to say around $70 or so, $60, $60, $70. I got it back in California. Um, so this one right here was $70. Um, I don't I don't really see a lot of Ben Romax and Ben Reacts a lot. So I saw one. I said, let me get this one. They have a, so this is a 10 year. This is, as I said earlier, is aged in a uh, sherry bourbon and American virgin oak, but they do have another uh, ten year that's the smoky ten that's peated. I never had that one, so but this one right here is what the only one they had. So I tried this one. So this one's one we have. You know, as you see, a very light color on it. Um, like I said, so for a ten year around seventy bucks, I think that was a little pricey. I got it on a military exchange. Usually that's one of the better pricing points that you can get it at. So if I thought seven dollars, I'm thinking, I figured, okay, let's let's give it a shot and see what it has to offer. So, um, like I said, um, very light on the color. It, it, three casts. So hopefully, it's three casts between. I love sherry and bourbon and the virgin. Also, hopefully, between these three casts, um, my thought when I was getting it was like, okay, it should have a, a part a lot of different flavors um, into it. Uh, if you know my channel, I know I, you know I like higher proofs. So it's sitting at 43, so that's usually not the the uh, ABV that I prefer. Uh, but I uh, just wanted to give it a shot and just see, you know, what it has to offer. So uh, this is my first bottle of Ben React. Um, like I said, they have other expressions, but this is the very first uh, one that I purchased. So essentially, this is my very first interaction with uh, the Ben React line. Um, I've heard good things about Ben Romack 10. So I hear more good things about Ben Romack than I do Ben React, which is what I have. Um, but uh, but this one right here, like I said, um, we're, we're going to dive all into the notes. We're going to nose it. We're going to taste it. And we're going to score it as always. So um, to my knowledge, I guess it's, it had uh, the spirit was aged in all those three different casts, aged for up to 10 years. And like I said, my only um, wish is that it was a higher ABV uh, off the bat. But we'll dive more into that in just a second. But um, don't know a lot. Of, I don't have a lot of uh, notes on this bin react other than just a cash maturation or whatnot. But it does give you a nice little price, uh, the, the uh, nose tasting, it gets tasting notes on it, has a little story on the back so that it, you know, that you know about the distillery and whatnot if you, uh, if you was curious to know. But anyway, let's see what this nose has to offer. <sighs> wow. Has a very light, fruity, vibrant nose on it. I'm getting a lot of pears, apples. Very nice, actually. Grapes. But a lot of vanilla and honey on there as well. Light notes with vanilla and honey. But note, but notes that I'm picking up right now, like I said, toasted oak. Like I said, like pears, apples. Very nice, very nice light color. Like I said, I'm not a nose person generally, but I love it. I love it when it when the nose does something for me. I like peated noses and I like fruity noses. This one is not peated; it's fruity. 
and it has like I said, and it smells stronger than it is. It's forty three percent, but it's, it smells like it's a, like it's about a fifty. You know, but never be it as it may. Like I said, honey, honey vanilla is definitely on here with the fruit notes. Very nice, very nice. Believe it or not. Let's see what this palette has to offer. Cheers. My main gripe with this is what I mentioned earlier. It doesn't have oomph to it. It's very light, like I said. 43%. So like I said, the smell, it smelled like it was strong, but the taste does not uh, taste like it's strong. I mean, it's 43%, so it is what it is. So it has a short finish. The, the flavors doesn't jump out, out on my, doesn't jump out very heavy on my palate because of the lower ABV. Uh, it almost tastes a little watered down for me. Um, that's my main gripe, but I do when I, uh, I do pick up the fruit light notes on this. So I do pick up the vanilla, the honey, the apple character on it. I do like it. The only problem is it just doesn't last long. Cause as soon as I take it down the hatch, I throw it around and it goes down the hatch. The finish is virtually gone for me. And I think that's the one thing that I don't like. And as I said earlier, the higher ABVs, when you taste it, the, the flavor profile usually is more amplified on my, on my palate. And then it lasts longer. That is. On this one, like it doesn't last long and it's not amplified. So that's really my, my main gripe with this. Um, the flavor profile is, is nice, but it's just like I said, it's just a little light for me. I'll take another sip. As I swirl around more, I pick up a brine character to it. So you get those light floral fruity notes that opens up and you get the honey, vanilla, and then you get like a little salt brine character. To be honest with you, when I taste this, you know what it reminds me of? That's another one that, that's very similar is the Old Pulteney. I had, I like the Old Pulteney 12 year, I believe. I reviewed that one as well. That's 40%. So the Old Pulteney and this has some very similar, in my opinion, characteristics to it. Um, like I said, oh, Pony is 40%. This is 43%. They're both light on the ABV tip, you know, they, you know, so it's, the, like, amp, you know, it's not very amplified because of lower proof, but they do have very nice fruity salt brine characters to it. So I pick up on the second set. I really pick up that, that brine character that, like I said, a light fruity note, sweet toasted oak, vanilla, honey. Like I said, I, I enjoy the flavors that I, that I'm tasting. Like I said, on my gripe is it just doesn't last long. And it's lower, baby. If this was at least another 10%, if you can give me at least 53 to 55 or, or an up percent, or if I can get this at cash strength, and, it, and I think it would be do it wonders for this one. If it could last longer, that's really my main gripe. It being higher, hotter, and, and a little bit lasting. Because the finish, once it goes down the hatch, it doesn't, it's, it's damn near gone for me. Um, so it is that that's that's my gripe. So um, it doesn't always have to be there. I mean, I've drank some 10-year-old, for example, the Aryan 10-year. That's 46%. That one um, is, in my opinion, is a more developed flavor profile. And not only that, it lasts longer. Actually, it's right behind me back here. Aryan 10-year. I did that also earlier. But um, be it as it may, um, that's, you know, that's really it for me. It's a nice summer drink, though. Some people who don't like high proof. So if you're a person who, who not into high proofs, if you're someone who's, even if I give you high proof, you're always icing it or watering it down, then you probably would prefer this because this is not going to burn a bite whatsoever. It's not hot whatsoever. And I think if you're someone who, like I said, who's not used to sipping neat, who don't like high proofs, you would gravitate to this bottle, this offering more so than, than a Spanish drinker, like a high proof guy like myself. Um, so um, I think that, like I said, this is a nice summer drink. It's light, floral, fruity. So for spring, summer, this is a nice dram. Um, to sit back and chill um, for, I think, a beginner or someone, like I said, who's not a high proofer, I think they would really like this more so. Um, but, you know, me, I just like it a little bit, just mainly the higher proof. Um, so anyway, um, that's my take on it. I'm going to do one more quick sip. I'm going to score this for you. Like I said, play profile was nice. Just like, like I said, just back to lower light fruity apple notes, pear, 
sweet toast of old vanilla, that salt brine character. It reminds me so much of the old Pulteney. Uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, nice summer, soft drink. So if you personally like pro, low proofs, this is definitely your drink. I think you would like this more so. Uh, for me, if I had to rate this one of a 10, 10 being the best. Um, for me personally, um, on the taste factor alone, um, I give this a seven, seven, five out of a, out of a 10. So seven and three quarters out of a 10. Um, I like it. I think it, but I like the, I like where they're going. I just, just not enough of it. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine if you're someone who just imagine, let's suppose you like ribs, right? But you like your ribs with, with a barbecue sauce. Cause there's some people who like, you know, dry rub ribs. They don't like sauce, but let's suppose you're someone who likes ribs with heavy barbecue sauce, right? Just imagine I gave you a rib instead of heavy sauce. I gave you just a little small squirt of it. You know, it's like you feel unfulfilled. It's like it's good, but not quite where you want it to be. And that's kind of how I feel about this. Like it's good. I enjoy, it's the nice flavor profile. I just need more higher ABV, a little bit more viscosity, and, and we, they'd knock out the park in my opinion if it was higher. But like I said, but you know, if you a person like I said, if you're not in the high proofs, this is definitely going to be more of your warehouse if you like the, if you like those notes. I said light, floral, fruity. Um, Brian character to it. And if you had an old Pulteney 12, it tastes very similar to this, in my opinion. Um, you know, um, like I said, it's just, like I said, a little light and thin for me when it doesn't have a lot of oomph, a lot of longevity finish to it. It's very short, non existent. It's short, it's a short finish. So that's my main gripe with it. But, uh, but like I said, it, you know, um, it, it's, it, it can, it's definitely a profile that some people will like with the lower proof. So anyway, um, so for me, I would give uh, on taste profile, I'll give it seven and seven five. So, um, you know, it's doable uh, under those, you know, if you like I said, light proofer. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you have had the Ben React, ben React um, Smoky 10 or any other offering, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that one. Or if, even if you have this one, I want to know your thoughts and opinions of what you think about this. But to me, um, like I said, seven, 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 five for me. Um, it's good, but just wish it was higher. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hope you got something out of it. I think it's good, but it, you know, it didn't, it just not going to knock my socks off. And then, you know, so, um, I probably wouldn't buy another bottle of this just because it's a lower proof. Uh, if I did, it, it would be maybe, you know, you know, if I had guess, I you know, maybe they liked it or something, but for me personally, I probably wouldn't buy another bottle, but you know, taste is not bad. Definitely not bad. It's just, like I said, just a little short and light for me. Anyway. Um, please check out my Instagram page. I got a lot of uh, uh, bottles on there that I did review, some of them that I didn't review, in addition to some hidden reviews. So please check that out. Like I said, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this. If you're in the aisle and you're looking in, you see the Ben React. If you never had this before, hopefully this, this video can help you give you an aid or a guide of what you would like, you know. You know, I, I, for example, I was also thinking about the uh, Hennessy White, for example. That's 40%, but I do like it. It's a sweet floral. Um, cognac, but cognac, as you know, is normally at bottle at 40%. So I think the fact that it's a different spirit makes it easier for me to sip it more so than the whiskey. Because I think whiskey for me, I, I just think that it should be higher proofs. But by all means, check it out on your own. No matter what I say, I think you should check it on your own and even form your own opinion. And this may be right up your alley if you like light, fruity, summer, uh, slow proof drinks. This will definitely right, be right up your alley. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, please stay safe out there. Hit the like and subscribe button. Likes and subscribes are for free, y'all. And uh, like I said, stay tuned. I got a lot more hot reviews coming your way. I also have a Cash App Patreon if you do choose to support. Um, I'm going to be looking to go to some whiskey festivals this uh, this summer. And I'll be doing some more reviews from the, if I can do a couple of spots, spot on reviews like I did last. If you check out my Instagram page, I went to Des Moines Whiskey Festival in the fall and I had a couple uh, I did a boss hog review that I posted on the Instagram. So if you never had the most recent boss hog, so just for example, I'll be doing more of those as well. So stay tuned for those as well. Sign out. Trams on deck. Yes, sir.